I collected every cursed and illegal block in Minecraft. Everything from cursed portal blocks and things Minecraft doesn't even understand to blocks Mojang tried to remove. I have over 600 illegal blocks to show you. This is part three of my cursed showcase. I previously showed you over 100 cursed mobs and 150 illegal items. So let's hop into it. Starting off, we got the end gateway tile from the end dimension. You can actually place these things down and they still give you the portal beam for some reason. There's also the end portal tile. This is a legit end portal that you can actually go through and this takes you to the end dimension back in the old minecraft versions you used to be able to just put a water bucket on these portals and that would give you an end portal tile it was the easiest thing and you used to be able to use a water bucket dispenser on an end gateway and that would also pop off an item for the portal this is one of the best blocks in minecraft because you can do fun things like that or you can stare into the void and the void will stare back. Very strange block and fun to play with if you get a chance. This is one of my favorite blocks, it's just the regular portal block. These are actually animated in the inventory and they are so fun looking. These of course are for the nether portals. Nowadays they just break when you place them next to each other, but you can actually still use these. We also got water and lava tiles. These ones are really fun and they're kind of broken in your hand. As you can see, the water is like weirdly gray. Now there's two different types of these, water that does actually flow and a lava that flows but there's also a water that doesn't flow and a lava that doesn't flow they will stay like this basically forever i also really like the fire tiles you can get soul fire and regular fire and when you place these down it's just straight up a piece of fire blue fire of course has to go on the soul sand and this is basically just a flint and steel but like way cooler because look at that it's animated in the inventory guys help my inventory is on fire there's also animated and lit campfires so these ones are pretty fun they're basically just standard camp fires but they're animated in, in the inventory and this one isn't lit at all you can also get the end portal with the eye in it still so this is the cursed one that comes with the eye in it and this is the regular one that doesn't have the eye as you can see that's regular this one's cursed there's also lit furnace tiles these are actually lit furnaces that act like they are you know lit with fuel inside of them as you can see there's nothing in them these will eventually go out but they are still pretty cool this one is really cursed and super fun to play with it is invisible bedrock now in the inventory it just looks like the stone texture i don't know why it's like that man now when you place this it's basically invisible there is one above this diamond block as you can see you can stand on it but you can't see it there's no hitbox and if you try to punch it you break the blocks through it as you can see there but i'm still standing on it if you want to get rid of it then you have to set block a block below you as you can see there's the stone, we break that, and then we fall down. I just placed like five of them, and I have no idea where they're at. That's gonna be a problem. As you can see, items also float on top of them as well. So it is actually there, even though it doesn't seem like it. And then we got the classic open barrel. This is something that you could also get in survival. When you place it, it doesn't have the open barrel anymore, but you can also set block this if you want it. And as you can see in the item frame, it still has a little open barrel. This is the powdered snow block. Normally this is in a bucket, but at one point this was just straight up in the creative inventory. And it's just regular powdered snow. Nothing special about it, but it's not in a bucket for some reason. Now we get to some of the OG classic blocks of Bedrock Edition. These are the super old ones that you got to be a really old player to remember. We got the Nether Reactor Core, the OG Glowing Obsidian, and also the original Stone Cutter block. None of these things do anything anymore, but these were original Pocket Edition blocks. If you're old enough to remember playing with these, let us know if a comment. And just now, do we finally get to all the different things that you can get from creative mode. So in here, you got all your different command blocks, command block minecarts, allow, deny, and border blocks, your jigsaw and structure blocks, your ender dragon and wither spawn eggs, and of course, all your light blocks. These are all pretty basic vanilla creative items. Some people would go and make a whole video on this, but uh, it's barely a footnote here because we got, we got a lot of other stuff to go through. There's also six different types of structure blocks that you can get in a bedrock edition. These all have the different textures and different states this one is really fun you might have seen it around these are the update blocks this is something that minecraft does not know what to do with and there are a bunch of them there's the unknown block there's the reserved six re update two and update regular 
There's also, you know, moving block and client request placeholder block. There's been various ways to farm these and get these over the updates, but I really like this one right here. It's the client request placeholder. And when you place it down, it unrenders the ground around it. So it's basically just an X-ray. As you can see here, it's actually pretty cool. I don't know if this is going to break my world or not, but as you can see, you can punch through it like it's not there. You can stand on top of it. It's pretty similar to Invisible Bedrock, actually. Do you want to play in this world and check out over 900? illegal items blocks and mobs well you can there's actually a world download for this down in the description of the video and you can actually take these things to your world using the structure blocks Huge thank you to Lorenzo for sharing a ton of the blocks with me in today's video. You can check out their map download linked in the description. They've basically built an entire museum with every single illegal item and block in Minecraft. It's really impressive and they put a ton of time into it. Next up is a bunch of different education edition items and blocks. There is a ton of this stuff. The only ones I can get to work in this world is the camera block, which is this one right here, and the camera entity, which is this really cool guy right here. Now, education edition, if you're not a where is basically an entire toggle that you can turn on in your Minecraft worlds and that comes with hundreds of its own blocks a bunch of chemistry stuff it's really fun however there's a way to get all the education edition items and blocks into a non-education edition world I have one with all of those items but I just can't get them into this world for some reason if you know how to do that let me know some of the education items transferred over and they just turned into the broken update blocks as you can see one of my favorite cursed blocks in bedrock edition is the extended piston so if you a control pick block the base of an extended piston that'll give you a plus a data piston and then when you place that down it's going to be extended like this and this allows you to do a lot of weird funky things with like two pistons facing into each other or four facing into each other you can have them inside of blocks or beds or bedrock and it's really fun you can even have it inside of fire or chests and these are stable blocks they don't get broken when you update them or when you relog it's really weird also a weird bug that popped up again is when this piston head is inside a fire the hitbox of this is massive you can see the black line of it just goes off for like ever so this is something that you can try in your minecraft world right now but it's creative only you just got to control pick block of the base of the piston this next one's pretty basic but you can get a permanently powered detector rail in your minecraft world all you need to do is have a detector rail with a minecart on it and then push that and then you simply remove the minecart and bam it's permanently powered forever another pretty cool thing you can do with rails is have some rails permanently slanted upwards like this this is actually really easy to do so you just have a regular rail line and then you just pull that up with a sticky piston and bam the middle one will break but these two guys will be slanted upwards and why yes you can ride this and it does sort of work and you kind of go up and over and maybe this will be useful to you. You can do this with any type of rail in the game. This is another really old bug, a bedrock edition that just has not been fixed for like years. So armor stands on tripwire hooks will of course activate that tripwire and activate the lamp. But if you relog, then those armor stands no longer activate the hooks, even though they're like downwards. And as you can see, if you walk through these, it's not going to activate anything. This one's a pretty new bug. So if you have the deep slate redstone ore and you activate it, it'll actually stay activated forever. So you just activate it by like clicking on it and then it'll never turn off it'll always emit light who knows if they're ever going to fix this or if it'll affect your currently lit redstone ore but yeah it's kind of a cool one also there's another bug where if you just like hold down the click button on it you get a lot of particles this next illegal block is pretty straightforward basically you can put pickles inside of water and then you can light those on fire so you can have fire that's on water or water that's on fire one of my all-time favorite bugs of bedrock edition is the invisible bubble columns and you can still do these today in your minecraft world so we have an invisible downwards column here and an invisible upwards column as well it is so fun now this doesn't have anything to do with the bubble column tiles that's a completely separate bug now if you want to make these it's really easy basically you just need to put a piece of powdered snow into every single one of your bubble columns going like all the way up put one inside of each water source and then go to the very top top of it put down a water it'll destroy all your powdered snow but then your bubbles will be left over and as you can see we got ourselves an invisible bubble column and it's super cool another powdered snow bug i'm not sure if this is actually a bug or not but you can put them right next to a cactus and that just it just seems illegal i don't know man it's a full block next to a cactus i expect you to break 
What is wrong with you? Back when candles were first added to Bedrock Edition, they were extremely buggy. You could add basically anything you wanted to the top of them, the sides of them, or the bottom of them. Now, you can't do this anymore, but if you still have them in your Minecraft world and you don't update them, then they will stay the same. Now, something that's kind of weird is you can actually hang a bell from the bottom of candles. Like, that still works, and you can also hang a lantern from the bottom of them as well. It doesn't seem like it should work, but here we are. The same bug also happened with the amethyst crystals. You could place these on basically anything when they were first added to the game. And this got really weird. You could place them on like pickles. You could place them on sideways chains, on top of fire, buttons, bamboo, on top of the small drip leaf, on top of each other. And then I also got a couple other weird ones that you can do just with like the set block command. So you can put a cactus on top of a glass block or you can put campfires underwater. This one's actually pretty cool. It's a really easy command as well. And then of course you can make a bell as a floating like mid-air and they don't pop off when you activate them which is kind of weird so yeah these ones are kind of cheating a little bit but you know what it's still an illegal thing that you can do in minecraft you can still do this bug in your minecraft world today if you have a nether portal and a little bit of powdered snow you can split the nether portal and get this tiny little slice and there's no limit to this either you can get a very long very slim nether portal so of course this is incredibly easy to do but it's also very fragile so if you update this at all it's gonna break the portal basically all you need to do is light the nether portal and then you need a dispenser with powdered snow in it now if your lever is on this side that's going to break the portal because it's going to update it so make sure your lever isn't like next to the portal anyway just activate that and bam that is going to split your portal now keep in mind this is directional so if my dispenser was on this side we wouldn't get any portal tiles. Now this right here is a drip leaf on top of a drip leaf on top of another drip leaf. It's three drip leaves stacked on top of each other. I'm not entirely sure how I made this happen, but I know it has something to do with my spam clicking a bone meal auto clicker and then breaking and placing another one and then like bone mealing that again really quickly. I'm getting the feeling that powdered snow is a little bit broken. Do, do you guys get that? Anyway, we got another powdered snow bug. So if you place yourself a piece of powdered snow inside of glow lichen, skull veins or regular vines it's not actually going to be a real block as you can see we have a little hitbox right here that you can see and that is the vine the skulk and the glow and if we try and walk through the snow it's not actually going to slow us down we can wear these boots and we still can't walk on top of it basically it is a ghost snow block and we can't even break it either we have to break the vines and then this block shows up then we start freezing and stuff like that. Making this is really easy. You just put the vines on the side and then the powdered snow bucket. And then as you can see, you get a ghost snow block. So you can trick your friends into thinking that something is safe to walk over when they have leather boots on, and then they just fall straight through to their death. The same way that we got our snow layers, you can also flower log certain blocks. So this is a flower inside of an end rod, and this is a stable block. You can update this, you can do whatever you want to it, and that flower is not gonna pop off. Now, if you break the block below it, as you can see, you can also get a floating flower as well. Eventually, this will pop off. You weren't limited to just end rods either. You could do other wall blocks and various things like that. It was pretty fun. And finally, we have a couple of random displays from Lorenzo's world download. So we have a bunch of illegal things inside of flower pots. I absolutely love all of these, especially the hanging vines inside of a flower pot because it's not even... It's not even touching it, it's really silly. You can see a few more details on this here as well. And then we have all of the illegal mob spawners. None of these are something that you can get in vanilla Minecraft. These were all edited, I believe. So first of all, we got things like end crystals. We got the balloons from education edition. You know, there's a small fireball in there, probably from like a blaze or something, I would imagine. Uh, TNT, the large fireball from like a gas. You got fishing hooks, llama spit. You got some really random things in here as well, like the leash knot. You got a trident spawner. And of course, my favorite, the lightning spawner. Now, this thing is so cool because you can see it from literally like hundreds, if not thousands of blocks away. You would think it would unrender, but no, this is permanently visible if you've visited this area and go far away. It's, it's kind of better than a beacon. It's like beacon plus. Just for demo, I went a thousand blocks away, and as you can see, that lightning is still over there. Oh yeah, and I guess, you know, there's also 
also an ender dragon spawner you know no big deal this doesn't actually spawn ender dragons luckily uh but we do have the little guy in there looking pretty fun spinning around and then of course the giant model as well this is honestly great for like a mantle because you can build this up and have it poking through the wall and it's just great you should put that above your fireplace yeah so none of these guys actually spawn anything which is great because it would probably destroy this area basically instantly this right here is also an empty spawner that i brought all the way from 014 zero and i basically just place it down and it had nothing in it and i brought it forward and it continues to have nothing in it but it keeps lighting up and next up i have some blocks that i personally think are really really cool these are permanently activated skulk blocks so that's a permanently activated skulk sensor catalyst and shrieker especially this one is just got such a cool animation on it now i'm pretty sure that these were made with the debug stick on java edition and then transferred over to bedrock and of course this was from lorenzo's world download and finally can you see anything wrong with this image and no it's not the update blocks look closer it's the double stacked slabs so these are two different slabs that are actually inside of each other so we got prismarine and stone slabs you know mangrove and andesite this is regular stone and mossy stone and as you can see if we break these there's actually two different slabs in these things it's not just like you know some weird funky magic trickery oh well i mean i guess it, that's technically what it is but you know what that's that's not the point anyway these are basically just merged blocks i don't know exactly how they made them but they're really cool this seems like such a basic feature that we really should have in minecraft it's 2024 and we can't stack slabs together if we can do this using bugs and quirkiness then surely we can do it on purpose and have it be fine if you didn't know you can control pick a block different inventories and items in the game and that'll give you a plus a data block and there's actually a bunch of different ones that you can do this too so as you can see we got a bunch of weird stuff in here like plus data farmland and snowballs just a bunch of weird things we also got the bubble column tiles these are really fun blocks that you can still get in survival mode and you can sort of place them as you can see they give you just a tiny bit of vertical like uplift and you can kind of like pillar up the side of a tree or something with them you can't actually place these down to get permanent bubbles there's also illegal respawn anchors so each one of these has a different respawn anchor value so like we got the regular default zero layer one two three and four and if you click on these everything will explode just want to make sure yep still explodes Good thing we made sure, isn't it? And then we got an absolute ton of different illegal redstone blocks. These are mostly different tile entities and stuff like that. Like we got an unlit redstone torch. We got different piston arms and other tile blocks. Most of these items were gotten with world edit. As you can see, when you place them down, they just kind of become like regular things. But these ones are actually lit when you place them. As you can see, you can place these piston arms, but they don't actually do anything. You can't break them or anything. It's, uh, it's kind of a weird block. I also just want to point out this tripwire right here. This is just... It's just really weird looking. I don't know why it's like that. You can actually get one of these illegal redstone blocks right now in your creative world. So if you just have a daylight detector switched to night mode and you pick block of that, you're going to get this thing right here. Tile daylight detector inverted dot name. Get it now while you can. Okay, these ones are really cool. Can you tell what that is? It's actually a piece of redstone dust. As you can see here, we got each different power level of the redstone. Now, sadly, when you place these down, they aren't powered or anything and the textures are slightly broken but this is another thing that you can get using world edit we also have every layer of snow from layer one all the way up to eight you could also get these in survival mode now when you place them down it's just a regular layer of snow there's also way more cakes in this game than you ever thought there was for example there's all of these different cake tiles this right here is a regular cake and then we have each different cake slice all the way up to a full cake and all of these other cakes with the different candles on them as you can see there you place it down it's already got a candle on it and there's one of these for every different color candle sadly when you place down the slice of cake they're just a full cake i'm so sad i wanted to share half a cake with somebody these ones are also really fun they are sign and tiles you can get these for basically every sign in the game so we got birch signs and wall signs now when you place down these it's just like a regular sign but the wall sign tiles are placed on the side as you can see there and we can type on both sides of them it's amazing they don't get updated they stay there and it's great there's also door tiles these ones are really strange because when you place them down they are kind of there but kind of not as you can see we got the outline of it 
and we can't click on it or update it or open it or anything uh, that will eventually pop off as you can see there and then we got the plants oh my is there a lot of different plant tiles all of these ones are a different stage of growth for a different wheat or you got like cocoa beans you got pitcher pod tiles basically any plant that you can think of there is a tile for it and these are not vanilla items that you can just get from the creative inventory or in game each one of these is a different weird thing and I especially love the kelp it's animated like look how cool that is these are all basically just a regular item when you place them down but in the inventories they're special and unique and then there's a couple more really weird tile entities when it comes to different inventories so we got item frames and glow item frames these are regular when you place them there's also cauldrons and hoppers and even a brewing stand all regular when you place them but the items are very strange and weird looking this one I really like it's just a bed tile it just looks like a full plank in the inventory and when you place it down it's literally just like this little half slab right here as you can see it's super weird but you do actually bounce on it it's it's fantastic uh for some reason you can't set your spawn this one is gonna blow your mind so this right here is a grass block or is it because it's actually a fern this is an illegal item that you can get in survival at one point and now we're getting into the weird funky underbelly of minecraft bedrock edition with all the weird oddities that you can get so first of all we got different skull tiles each one of these is a different skull as you can see they all have different orientations and when you hold them in your hand as you can see each one of them is actually a different skull but the textures are very broken and in the item frames they're actually weirdly rotated as well it's not just a regular skull item and all of them placed down as skeleton skulls as well as you can see we're holding a dragon head but it places down as a skeleton skull and then there's a ton of different weird upper slabs as you can see each one of these is an upper slab we have some regular lower slabs down here and as you can see there is a difference in the texture now each one of these is also cursed because they don't stack with the regular items from the creative inventory there's also a ton of double slab items as you can see each one of these is a double slab but they look like the full block sometimes they have a slightly different texture that you might be able to make out like this one it's got the double slab texture and when we actually break these down as you can see they are going to drop a two slabs which is very cool it's kind of weird that these cursed items still actually work how you would expect them to if you're a really old bedrock edition player then you might recognize this bug you could silk touch the different states and orientations of trapdoors and they would end up in your inventory in these different rotations as you can see here you can't place them down like this there's also a few different written books that are kind of illegal like this one's got photos in it from education edition there's also an empty written book a word limit exceed and a page limit exceed it's got 64 pages now 64 pages isn't really that much when you can see this one with 500 pages in it and yeah, it takes a very long time to scroll through it, even with an OP auto clicker. Now, this one's just kind of cool. It's a stack of 99 plus cobblestone. If you try and pick it up, uh, you can't. You try and shift click it, you get two stacks. This is another ancient, ancient block of bedrock edition. You could still touch all the different states of the mushroom blocks and stems to get these weird orientations of the mushrooms. As you can see, when you place these down, each one of them is actually unique. It's got like the different texture on the different sides of it. And there is an absolute ton of these things this was the bane of our life on an old server that was on a mushroom island none of these stack together they're all a unique block it's really annoying and of course there's a thousand different states of anvils different rotations different damages it's really strange but as you can see there's slight variations in the textures of all of these ones even though they look nearly identical they're all slightly different there's also depressed buttons the poor sad depressed buttons these are actually pressed buttons inside out of the inventory so you can see they have a very very slim texture it's not the regular texture and sometimes when you place it down they'll actually be pressed like this one right here it is not popped up like a regular button there's also just a bunch of different types of farmland none of these ones stack together i think they're different hydration levels or something like that you might have been wondering about this one in the other slabs section but we have a couple other miscellaneous slab items here like this one and also the petrified wood slabs so if we place this down you can't really mine it with an axe you gotta mine it with a pickaxe as you can see and uh it's very strange and then you place it back down again 
and you can mine it with an axe. It's the really, really old one from way back in the day of Bedrock Edition. We also have a couple small blocks with like just the wrong texture. So these ones are chiseled per per and then a tile of that. And then also smooth stone bricks. Obviously these are not smooth stone. It's just the regular. Next up, we got a couple of custom command items from Laranjo's world download. This is an extra sus gravel that is built using commands. So when you brush it, as you can see, you're gonna get a suspicious sand from this. And then when you place it down, you're gonna get another suspicious suspicious sand from it. And then when you place that one down, you're just gonna keep on repeating the cycle. And notice how this turns into gravel after you brush it. And then there's some custom decorated pots. You can make these using commands. Basically, these have a custom loot table inside of them. So when you break them with pickaxe, they're gonna actually drop some custom loot. They also made some custom blocks inside of blocks. And now these are also using commands, I believe. Now, when you place these down, they're gonna have blocks inside of blocks. So that is a brewing stand. You can actually use that. And if you break it, it turns into a regular glass block, as you can see there. There's also a dead bush inside of a mangrove root, and you can break that and break that one. You got a pitcher plod and a stone brick there. Very strange stuff. And then there's also a darkness block as well. So when we place that down, uh, it's actually going to create some darkness because it's like stone and air. And it's kind of strange, the things that you can do with commands on Bedrock Edition spooky. There's also a couple more, you know, kind of boring blocks, like some broken banners. So we got the banner tile. And also, this is what the regular banner is called. It's called black banner. But as you can see, this one is just called regular banner for some reason. You place it down. Nothing special at all besides the fact that it placed like away from us, which is not really normal. Does it always place that direction? It does. Okay, so I guess it's kind of broken. <laughs> uh, you can't place down this tile banner, even if you try and place it with a supporting block. It always pops off. And then we got the flower pot tile and the chain tile. Neither of these is really special in any way, besides the fact that their texture is slightly broken. When you place them down, they're perfectly standard, though. And that is all 600 plus of the illegal blocks in Minecraft. If you enjoyed this video, then drop a like, share it around, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.